नमस्ते राम गीता ध्यान ओ पाठाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भगवदेशिणी भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन The ancient sage Vyasa included it in the Mahabharata. O goddess, shower of the nectar-like knowledge of non-dualism contained in your eighteen chapters. O my affectionate mother, the destroyer of rebirth, I meditate upon thee. Krishna Vandana, Vasudev Sutam Devam Kansachanu Ramardanam. देवकीं परमानंदम कृष्णम वंदे जगतगुरु सन ऑफ वसुदेव स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चानूर एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्णा सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशंस टू यू सो श्री कृष्णास टीचिंग्स ऑन द various forms of sacrifices that uh, people uh, conduct various kind of uh, uh, offerings that people give up to uh, their uh, chosen deity in the form of uh, yatnya a grand sacrifice and uh, here uh, today our reading in of the 29th shloka again sri krishna continues so sri krishna elaborates in this 29th shloka what partially he spoke about he taught us partially in the 27th and 28th shloka in the 27th shloka he had made a mention he had mentioned about prana karmani cha apare that uh, some people also sacrifice the functions of prana the pra prana is what basically the vital energy of Any living being, the breathing as such, we breathe in, we breathe out, breathe out, and that is the vital energy which sustains us, which keep us alive. The moment this outgoing breath goes out and doesn't come inside the body again, that is the end of the existence of this physical body. So. Sri Krishna has told in that seventy-seventh shloka, "Sarvani driya karmani, an karmani ch apre, atma sayam yoga gnau jhuvati jana deepite have the, the, this this fire, the, this this fire of yoga which is kindled by the knowledge. In that fire, people uh, offer so many things as sacrifices." सर्वांद्री सर्वाणींद्रिय कर्माणि द फंक्शंस ऑफ ऑल द सेंस ऑर्गन्स सैक्रिफाइस द फंक्शंस ऑफ ऑल द वाइटल एनर्जी द प्राण सैक्रिफाइस लाइक दैट एंड अगेन इन द 28th श्लोक श्री कृष्ण हैज सेड अगेन पीपल डू वेरियस काइंड ऑफ सैक्रिफाइसेस द्रव्य यज्ञस्तपा द्रव्य यज्ञस्तपो यज्ञ योग यज्ञा तथा परे Yoga yajna ha tatha pare in that yoga the ashtanga yoga that Sri Krishna had mentioned prana yam is one of the constituents of the ashtanga yoga that we had seen yesterday uh, the, you know uh, uh, the the uh, eight 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 eight, eight uh, yogas that uh, uh, Patanjali has described in the yoga sutras that which has formed the part of Uh, 28th प्राणायाच इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ दिस एट फोल्ड योगा 
So, uh, Shri Krishna had briefly touched upon this breathing as a, uh, uh, you, you know, part of sacrifice that people offer. Uh, and in this 29th shloka, Sri Krishna is further going to talk about, mainly about just the prana, the process of prana, the, the process of breathing as such, how it is sacrificed. Apane juvati pranam, prane pana tathapare, prana pana gati rutva, prana yama parayanaha. Now the process of prana as such, what we breathe in, breathe out is composed of two elements, breathing in and breathing out. The part of that breath remains inside. Basically it is in and out the process. We breathe in the vital energy of this creation in the form of the incoming breath. And we throw out the part of that vital energy back to the creation for another intake of that vital energy. So, just, just, just look at it. I mean, okay, that, that part uh, we will uh, deal later. Now, the, this prana as such, the, the, this process of breathing is composed of two elements like uh, we described incoming and outgoing. Now, incoming breath is called as prana. And outgoing breath is called as prana. Prana, prana. So, apane juvati pranam. Apane juvati. Apane is incoming breath is sacrificed into the outgoing breath. This concept is a bit difficult to understand. What Sri Krishna says here, Apane Juvati Pranam, whatever we take in the breath, is sacrificed in the form of outgoing breath. Apane Juvati Pranam. And Prane Apanam Tatha Apare and others, they also sacrifice the outgoing breath. Outgoing breathing, prane, apanam, tha apare. That outgoing breath is sacrificed as if in the next incoming breath. This process of sacrifice is constant when we breathe in. As if we breathe in that particular vital portion of the vital energy and feel it as a sacrifice to the next outgoing breath. And the outgoing breath as if is sacrificed in the next incoming breathing. Apane juvati pranam prane pana tatha pare prana pana gati rudva prana apana gati rudva. This process, this constant process of outgoing in and incoming rudva is restrained, is controlled, is focused by the mind. It is not that we are just unconsciously breathing them. The every breath we take in, we offer it as a sacrifice to the outgoing breath. Oh, outgoing breath, I am offering this incoming breath to you. Please take care of it. And also, with every outgoing breath, we, we offer it as a sacrifice to the next incoming breath. And this process, prana, apana, gati, rudva, having told this prana and apana process of breathing in and breathing out in the form of sacrifice, prana, yama, para, apanaha. Pranayama Parapana is solely absorbed. These people, they are solely absorbed in the restraint, in the controlling the breath, the process of breathing. So, what we breathe in, what we breathe out, Sri Krishna says, some people, they have complete control over their breathing. 
Now, just, just, just imagine, all of us, we are breathing, isn't it? All of us, we are breathing, therefore we are. Now, are we conscious of our breathing? Do we ever think about the process of our breathing? That I am breathing in the vital energy of the creation. I am breathing out the portion of the vital energy of the creation and thus I am feeding my body, feeding this body with the vital energy in the form of that incoming breath and exhaling all the unwanted energy for the body back to the creation to take back another part of the, that vital energy of the creation. You never think about it. Just that we are living, we are living, we never bother about our process of breathing. And Sri Krishna says there are some people who have complete control over this process of breathing in and breathing out. That is also a form of sacrifice. And that sacrifice, uh, uh, whenever the moment we uh, focus on the process of our breathing in and breathing out. Basically what? We are just focusing that we are part of this creation. We are taking in something very vital in a, uh, uh, which is available there in this creation which is created by the Lord. And thus having taken in that portion of the vital energy of the creation, we'll, we feel oneness with the creator of this creation, with the creator of this vital energy. And when we breathe out, the same thing. So, with every breathing in and breathing out, we are trying to associate our relationship with the Lord, with the creator, the one who has brought this creation into like Sri Krishna had told us earlier, I am the creator. It is my play, it is my will, it is with my maya that I have brought this creation in. And we being part of this creation, we are inhaling that vital energy supply created by the Lord in this creation. And that sacrifice, with every incoming breath being sacrificed to the next outgoing breath and outgoing breath sacrificed to the next incoming breathing. We are offering ourselves. We are offering that part of vital energy. We are offering it as a sacrifice to the Lord Almighty and we are just becoming an instrument in his hand. I don't have, like, I don't have a control on my breathing as such. Everything is done by him. Even the incoming and outgoing breathing, which is sacrificed in the outgoing and incoming breathing, it is not mine. It is all Lord's. If that is the attitude, that even my breathing I am sacrificing. My incoming breathe, my outgoing breathe, everything is part of a sacrifice to the Lord. Where do I stand? Where is this I consciousness of mine? It is. It, it just gets evaporated. It just gets destroyed. And I become an instrument in the hand of the Lord, the Almighty, the great creator of this creation. And then I plunge into work. The work doesn't harm me at all. Then I don't have any botheration. Then I don't have anything to worry about how so much work I do. So that is what Sri Krishna has uh, explained in this through this shloka that how the sacrificing of the vital energy in the form of incoming and outgoing breathing also is considered as a sacrifice, as a real yadnya, as a yadnya by some people, and they also reach the ultimate to this process. So the various kind of yadnyas that Sri Krishna is teaching us since last uh, four or five shlokas, all these different types of yadnyas, they are also a path. They are also a path to having the ultimate knowledge, the jnana. And the jnana coming out of all these yadnyas. So that is the 
teaching of Sri Ramakrishna all throughout in this Jnana Karma Sanyasa Yoga, the fourth Adhyay. And we have just read the 29th teaching in this Adhyay. So that is our reading for the day. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Bhagavad Jai Swami